What's going on guys? Shane here with another Fight Tips Quick Tip. So in today's episode, we're talking about how to fight someone fatter than you, all right? Not necessarily taller, I'm talking about bigger, more mass, okay? Some things that are safe to assume are that they're stronger than you. You wanna avoid getting into clinch range, all right? They get a hold of you, they're gonna have the upper hand. All right, another thing that's safe to assume is that their hits are gonna be more powerful than yours, right? They got more weight, more mass behind it. You wanna avoid getting hit by, by those meat hooks. All right, some things that um, are, are probable but not guaranteed are that they are slower than you, all right? This isn't always gonna be the case and that they're gonna tire out more quickly. Again, you can't guarantee this because it's a street fight. It may only last about 30 seconds. They can go hard and fast for those 30 seconds. All right, so a good strategy to have against someone who's fatter than you going into it is you wanna be quick, all right? In and out movements, you wanna step in with just one, two punches, all right? I just want, I just want jabs and crosses. That's all, all you should be throwing. Now, if you're in hook range, yeah, throw the hook. If you're in uppercut range, throw the uppercut, but don't go looking for it, all right? Don't reach for a hook, don't reach for an uppercut. Straight punches, jabs and crosses, one, two, one, two, throw those four punches in and out before they can swat at you and grab you, before they can throw a big punch and catch you with it, all right? In and out movements, you need to practice that, getting in, getting out. All right, nice and explosive. All right, if you do get into clinch range, they grab a hold of you, you need to fight dirty. You need to work headbutts. You need to shove your thumb into their eye. You need to kick to the groin. All right, and one last thing that works is kicks to the legs. All right, especially you can use feints too. You kick to the legs a couple of times, they start thinking low. You fake a low kick, they drop their hands or look down, and then you come back with your straight punches. All right, straight punches, feints, and low kicks. Combine all of those, you should be good to go. All right, guys, follow me on Twitter, at Fight Tips. Send me some of your questions so you get featured in a video like this, a quick tip, and make sure you subscribe so you get the Fight Tips before your opponent does. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips, self-defense for the underdogs.